What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1999 movie, The Rage Carry 2. The movie is directed by Cat Shea and written by Raphael Moru, and this movie follows a young teenage girl named Rachel Lang, who is, uh, her best friend commits suicide, and, uh, she finds out that the reason her best friend did it is because this guy lied and pretended to do like her and stuff to get her to have sex with him and uh, she ends up getting her revenge out at a party later on in the movie I don't want to say too much about the story because a lot of it didn't make any sense to me like th this movie was just really really horrible. Uh, the original Carrie, like I said in my review for that movie, is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It's one of my favorite movies in general, and this this is just one of those movies that doesn't have a reason at all to exist. It's one of those cash grab sequels that makes no sense of why they would even make it, because the first Carrie, there was nothing else to tell, and um, they shoehorn uh, Sue Snell in here from the first movie once again played by Amy Irving she's in here just to try to remind the audience throughout the movie that they're watching a sequel to Carrie and it cuts way to flashbacks of the original movie and stuff throughout the off and on throughout the movie Every, anytime Sue Snell comes on screen they so show a little bit of a flashback some of it's even in scenes that Sue wasn't even in so it makes no sense why they show a flashback to that scene um Except it, it's only there to just remind the audience that this is supposed to be a sequel to Carrie. Um, the, the, the cast in here are okay. Um, Emily Burgel plays Rachel Lang. And I think she was alright. I mean, she, she did a decent enough job. Not enough to make me really care about the character, though. I mean, I just didn't really like like the character, but her her acting wasn't terrible or anything. Um, Jason London plays uh, Jesse, who is her love interest, and he he's okay. Um, and the two of them were pretty decent together, but he's kind of a likable character. He's pretty much the Sue Snell of this movie. Um, like, I guess if that makes sense, he he feels bad about stuff that's happened. And everything, but he, he's okay. Um, Dylan Bruno plays his Jesse's douchebag friend Mark. He's not a very likable character, but I think he did a decent job uh, playing him. There's like parts in the movie where he's just calling, prank calling Rachel and doing uh, an imitation of Ghostface and stuff. Like this movie you can't just rip off Carrie, it has to rip off other movies that were being made around that time. Um, and he, uh, I will say though that his ghost face impersonation was pretty good. Um, Zachary Ty Bryan plays the douchebag that sleeps with uh, Rachel's friend Lisa and everything. He's really not a very likable character. He pretty much gets away with statutory rape and everything. They do a little investigation, but they pretty much say that since he's a jock at the school, it's okay for him to rape women and stuff because she was like uh, 16 years old when he was like 18 I think and everything but pretty much the message of that was like if you if you're a jock then it's okay to do it um uh Jay Smith Cameron plays Barbara Lang who is Rachel's mother when we find out in a twist in the movie that it was pretty obvious uh that Carrie was uh, Rachel's sister, uh, like half sister, and everything. Carrie's dad is also Rachel's dad, and they, they tried to make it a big twist, but I had already known the twist anyway. But it was one that was pretty easy to see coming that she was somehow going to be related to Carrie and everything. Like I said, that then they go back. There's a scene where Sue takes her back to the school and everything, and that's has all of the debris and stuff still standing from the events of the first movie which is really unrealistic they wouldn't have kept something like that up 
all these years later and everything so I thought that was kind of stupid too um, I want to just let let and let this this burn down school and stuff like all the debris and stuff from that sit there on the lot and everything whoever owned the land that the school was on would have probably had it tore down and I thought that was really unrealistic and, and stupid too it was just one, one of the many ways they were trying to remind the audience that this was a sequel to Carrie like like if you would have taken the whole stuff at Aside, this could have been an interesting movie on its own, but they, they shoehorned in a bunch of stuff to, to make it fit in to be a sequel that didn't ever need to happen. It's kind of like with uh, American Psycho 2, which I think that movie did it even worse, but um, but th this movie could, could have been its own movie and it would have been a lot better. And some of the stuff that happens in this movie, like the boys making packs to uh, see how many virgins they can screw and stuff and they write it down in this notebook and stuff is actually based on stuff that actually really happened everything was like what why not just make a movie based on those events or something instead of just making like trying to shoehorn and to make extra money for a sequel that nobody ever wanted uh, I don't think anybody would have ever wanted a sequel to carry and I, I know I sure didn't. It took me a long time to ever even give this movie a chance because I knew I was going to hate it. I, I never wanted a sequel to Carrie. Uh, the first movie is one of the best movies ever made and everything. And this one just is, it's really, really slow. The movie's an hour and 44 minutes and it, it feel, feels like it's a lot longer than it really is. And I just really didn't enjoy this movie. That being said, there are some things about this movie that I did like, though. Um, I did like uh, the ending of the movie, like the, the whole scene at the party and stuff, and when she finally, like, loses it and everything. I thought that was a pretty cool uh, setup and everything. And the, the kills and stuff were, like what the first one are, uh, uh, kind of feel rewarding, like, like the movie built up to make you hate these characters that, that, and stuff, and so getting to see her get her revenge on them is pretty cool. Um, it's not the same stakes as the original Carrie though, because they don't they they're not like fully mean to her throughout the movie. Most most of the time, she doesn't even know what's going on. She doesn't find out till right before she goes crazy. So it, the build up and stuff wasn't really there, like in the first one, but the the. The kills though are still really good though. Um, although it does have, there are a few scenes with really cringy CGI that look, looks really really horrible and dated. Um, but the ending was pretty good, and uh, Danny B. Harvey did the score for the movie. Yeah, I thought his score was pretty good. It reminded me a lot of the score from the original Carrie, and it just it fit the tone of the movie for or what they were trying to do with the movie like I said the movie itself just wasn't real great to me but I thought the score was alright and um but I just wish this movie could have been better I think that they should have made it a little bit shorter too they could have cut down maybe 15 minutes of it or so it could have might have been a little bit better the pacing might have been better but um but yeah, the, the Rage Carry 2 is an okay movie, not not one that I would really want to rewatch. I, I don't know if I ever will rewatch it. It might be one that I, I revisit maybe 10 years from now or something to see if my opinions have changed on it or not. But it's, it's one I don't really look forward to seeing again. I just really didn't like it. Um, so I'd say I'd give the Rage Carry 2 a 4 out of 10 because it... There are, like I said, there are some things I like about it, like the performances were great, the, the final act was pretty good, and the score was really good, but that's really all I can really say about the movie that I really enjoyed. Um, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. If you're a fan of the original, uh, there's no, no point in this, really. This movie really was not very good. There, it has no reason to exist, so if you, you're... Unless you're just like me and curious to see what it's like and everything, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but, uh, anyway, so that's my review for The Rage Carry 2. I hope you enjoy this video, and, um, have a good day, everybody, and...
Fuck Amber Heard.